The COVID-19 pandemic has opened our eyes to the critical need for accurate information to help us make the best decisions to protect our health, our livelihoods, and our lives. But parallel to positive efforts, rapid spread of viral disinformation and hateful narratives, playing on our fears in the absence of reliable information, has created new risks, threatening peace and stability, especially in conflict-prone communities. Thanks to the European Union and its instrument contributing to stability and peace, UNESCO in April 2020 launched a global project called Coronavirus Facts, addressing the disinfodemic on COVID-19 in conflict-prone environments. Through this project, UNESCO worked with a broad range of stakeholders at country, regional and global level, working to promote factual, safe and inclusive media coverage of the pandemic. The project has enabled online courses and localized training, reaching over 27,000 media professionals, fact-checkers and communicators in 157 countries. Through the project, journalists have formed lasting professional exchange networks. In Ethiopia, a telegram channel is now connecting community radios with a collective reach of 25 million rural people, along with health authorities, WHO and UNESCO. In Haiti, regional WhatsApp groups are bringing together local journalists, journalism trainers and UNESCO experts. While in sub-Saharan Africa, 300 community radio professionals continue to exchange best practices across 14 countries. The project has supported a range of new resources to help journalists cover the pandemic. Among them, a global resource center in seven languages, safety guidelines, a health misinformation fact-checking toolkit for African journalists, and a database of key African experts on COVID-19 and non-communicable diseases. Fact-checkers have taken on an important role during the pandemic, and the project has empowered them with skills and networking opportunities. For instance, in West Africa, fact-checkers trained established a joint network across eight countries, while over 12,000 practitioners in Iraq have joined dedicated Facebook groups to debunk false information. In Latin America and the Caribbean, UNESCO and 35 fact-checking organizations launched a special COVID-19 resource hub. To reach out in rural areas, community media outlets have been supported to disseminate information in more than 30 different languages. Ultimately, disinformation and hate speech can only be fought through an informed citizenry. The project has been helping influencers, bloggers and CSOs to build citizens' media information and literacy skills. With governments playing a critical role in protecting the health of their citizens, the project supported cooperation between authorities and journalists. In Iraq, the Ministry of Interior set up a hotline for the safety of women journalists for help and health advice. In Zimbabwe, the project helped to spur on the government's decision to establish three new community radio stations. The engagement of thousands of stakeholders from around the world in this project and their continued commitment to innovate, exchange and build on their experiences has been an incredible added value. It has led to new resources and ways of working that will live on beyond the project and contribute to build more informed societies. Amidst fears and tensions, the pandemic has thus also given rise to powerful new collaborations that can help us be more resilient and prepared for future crises.